Hello again, YouTube. Today we're working on the mow van, and today's task is making some tie downs for the mowers to keep them from rolling forward or to the back. And I'll be using the, uh, the the seat mounts here, and I'll put these rubber pieces back in, and they'll be screwed down. I'll be using this crossbar right here uh, for the attachment point for the tie down so that is a strong attachment point and we'll be running a uh, chain and a hook on both sides up here to the mower and uh, hooking it on also too the mower sits way to the side of the van because of this heater blower motor here uh, and i've mounted a toolbox in uh, i'll be moving those two items so this mower will uh sit more to the driver's side and i'll be able to utilize this tie down here a lot better it will be more straighter to the mower and that's what we're working on today Let me get the hose lined up here There we go. Put some paint in those holes. I painted the floor before I put this green carpet down. Uh, really, it needs to be a rubber mat. But the van sweats a lot underneath uh, the flooring. And I'm assuming it would sweat a lot under a rubber mat. All right, got those two in. I'll go up here and work on this fan motor now. Okay. We'll take the fan motor out. Take this toolbox out. Okay, we got the toolbox out of the way. The toolbox here is, I keep my operator manuals in here uh, tools and some assorted sorted parts that I might need and I'll be putting more stuff in that as time goes on with that out of the way this fan motor take it out and I'll put this up in case I want to put it back down <clears throat> and I may have to make a I may have to make a plate. There's a hole right here and some uh, duct work underneath here. And I'll probably have to make me a plate to put here. And I'll use the bottom of this as a pattern for my plate. Uh, no big deal. To be glad to have it out of the way. Also too, I can use this plug, this uh, 12 volt connection for my battery charger. Uh, I'll mount an inverter here. <clears throat> and I'll be able to uh, charge my uh, cordless batteries. Uh, a good power source for that. Okay, let's let's go see if we can find a piece of metal to make this block off plate. Uh, there's usually all kinds of stuff around here at the shop. Mm, here we go. This will work. Okay. What we want to do here is we'll take the fan motor, we'll put it here, and we'll draw around the base to get a pattern for the block off plate. Now we've got the uh, block off plate marked out, and uh, I'll grab a, uh, a cutting uh, bit on the uh, angle grinder and I will cut that out. And uh, for the hose, we'll set the blower back up against the plate and then uh, center punch these hose on the blower and then drill the hose in the plate. That way we'll be able to, to bolt the plate down to the floor. Okay, I've cut out the plate, drilled the hose and all that stuff. And I didn't want to bore you with all the grinding and drilling and all that nonsense. You're grown ups, so we're all grown ups here. Anyways, 
we'll put it in there's already a gasket right here there's a gasket underneath so we won't need any kind of sealant or anything we'll just uh bolt this down and i use two of the uh old screws because i'm tight and i don't want to buy new ones uh anyways here we go in there put this screw in It's raining like crazy out today. You can probably hear it uh, falling on the van roof. It may drown me out here in a minute, I don't know. Okay, got a plate in, we're good to go on that. Uh, I'm not going to paint it white because there'll be a lot of people go to Chicago and never notice it's black. Look at that. It's pouring down the rain. Okay, what we want to do now is back this mower up and move it to the left. Like so. All right. Now it should be more even with these tie downs so the chain and the hooks will be able to go straight straight up with the mower and we've got plenty of room over here on this side and we have quite a bit more room over here on this side to reach in and get stuff out i like the looks of that it looks okay to me okay we've got some hardware laid out here you can see our hooks uh we have the hooks we have some chain appropriately uh ready chain and some appropriately rated uh, quick links and we'll put all this together uh, and first we want to these price tags that they put on it tractor supply or the manufacturer are kind of hard to get off sometimes we'll we'll scrape all that off and clean it up and we'll get all this assembled and uh, we'll latch the mower down righty we got all that done the chain's cut to the right length, the hook's put in, uh, the hook's hooked to the mower. Got the mower where we want it. Uh, you can see here, she's in there nice and snug. So we got the front one done and we'll be working on the back one here next when I get a few moments to, to work on this project. Meanwhile, she's sitting in there pretty good. You got the uh, Velke hanging up high so the second mower fits in there without the Velke uh, hitting the mower. And the uh, second mower, it goes back here, is the MTD Pro. And it's basically the same mower as the Les Lesco. Uh, so if they're swapped around, those chains will fit on the other mower as well. It's the same chassis, pretty much the same mower. Uh, this one is a single cylinder and one's a V-twin.
Okay, mowers are back in here and they're in place. Uh, they're ready to go and I'll throw a strap on this back one right here for now until I get the uh, tie downs made for the back mower. Um, so the mowers are ready to go. They're all fueled up and ready for tomorrow. We'll, we'll keep adding to the van as it goes along as we use it and learn what we need to do. Little things we need to add. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, folks.